Happy New Year! We are doing New Year's nails today and you're actually looking the fireworks and the clock and all that is the inspiration for this Manny. I was actually inspired by that overlay. Love it. We're going to start out with Blacklist from Sinful Colors and then Gold Rush. I wanted to do something a little kind of elegant and not necessarily colorful and in your face but elegant. I am going to show you a short tutorial on foils, nail foils. So you will see that a little bit. There's going to be another one later within the next six weeks or so. That's a full blown tutorial. Uh, I love this font plate from Clear Jelly Stamper. If you are going to buy anything from Clear Jelly Stamper to start out with, I would highly recommend these font plates. Irrelevant of the discount code. There is one now though. It's Jelly 10, just like my maniology code. So if you shop on Clear Jelly, you can use that and get a 10% discount. I make a small commission. Um, but I do love that plate. I use it all the time when I need letters. And I'm going to go eventually and get the other ones too, I think. Um, I have a very large selection of maniology plates that we're going to do here. Um, sorry, I'm having some asthma issues again. And I may have to kind of pause and jump back in while I'm doing this. A lot of you have been requesting longer videos and more detailed videos. So I do want to show you everything that I'm doing today from base coat to top coat. So I'm starting out with the oily rubberized base coat. The reason I picked that particular base coat is I want this mani to stay on for a decent amount of time. That was my original hope and then I screwed it up and ended up having to take it off. But we're gonna talk about that too when we get to those points. I really, really like this polish for a base coat that's long wearing. Normally I can get about seven to ten days out of it before things start chipping and I type all day long every day so that is actually very good for regular polish um, one of the other things I really want to start showing a little more up close and personal is my painting process in general I have a very long studied way of painting my nails I guess you could say so that I try not to touch the cuticles most of the time and I try to keep products off of there where I can my dog is coughing in the background because she just had her breakfast um so if you heard that sorry if you didn't great um i want to talk about sinful colors blacklist a lot and sinful colors have been kind of hard to find lately um hopefully that is going to get better in the next year along with many other things that need to get better in the next year so oh are you are you in this video are, are you talking to us pip um <laughs> they're rowdy this morning <laughs> so i really really love this color it's two dollars and 99 cents for a one coat black and i mean you can see it the proof is in the pudding it's not edited for that it's one coat now you do have to kind of do a little bit of a thicker coat and kind of pay attention and not get streaks and stuff but it is easy to do it in one coat this is the finger I can never see <laughs> while I'm filming. I can't see that side that I missed a little bit. So I do believe I went back in and corrected that a little bit later and added more polish. Um, and look, my nails are getting long again. I'm very excited. They finally stopped breaking left and right. I have had to practically just leave them in cuticle oil all day, but they're better, much better. We're working on the dry skin right now. Okay, for the clock parts, I grabbed these gears off of um, Amazon. As soon as I saw that overlay, I knew I wanted to do clocks and that kind of stuff for New Year. So I immediately grabbed those off of Amazon. I think they were about $8. Uh, but one of the things that I'm going to start doing in the New Year to help you out, again, this is just for you. If you're shopping, it is not me saying you need this, you need this, only if you want it. I will put links for everything that I use in the videos below from now on. I've always just kind of done general links and you know, shop where you want, do what you want. And that's great. Do that too. But we're definitely going to start putting links in. All right. One of the things that I learned about these little gears and I have seen somebody else use these before. I can't remember who it was. Might've been Susie from Nail Career Education use something similar. Um, this piece in particular did not want to fit with the curve of my nail. Now, if you look at what I'm using to pick up these pieces, you can take them and lay them across an item about that size, um, like a thick ink pen, and press it down and it will bend it just a little bit, just enough so that you can actually stick it down onto your nail and it will lay flat. It doesn't take much at all to do that, just any, any extra little curve, just enough to get those pieces to lay flat. 
and you can seal them in with regular nail polish. It, sometimes it does take, you know, pretty thick coats or several coats to make sure that they're filled in, but it's definitely doable. On the pinky there, we stamped Happy New Year. It's a small stamp anyway, perfect for the pinky. We're going to grab these gold, uh, the use gold rush to pick up these fireworks that are launching and just kind of run those across the tip of the nail. Love them. Think it's so cute. Yes, it would also be cute with a lot of bright colors, but again, I saw the theme. I love the theme. We're doing the theme. We're going to grab 21, 21. I cannot believe it is 2021 and put that down. On that nail, I think I should could have moved the two a little bit closer, but I wasn't sure if I was going to have enough room. So if I had that one to do over again, I would put it a little bit closer to the middle. Overall, still thought it looked super cute. And I actually love the numbers on this for New Year. I think they're the best. Like, what, what year do you need? It's all on that plate. Fantastic. I believe Maniology came out with that one last year, but I think it's still on the site. I also think I have figured out the problem with what's causing my normally super opaque polishes to fade. And I think it's that Sally Hansen top coat I'm using. The one that my husband picked up on accident and I'm like, oh, I'm just gonna use them up and get rid of them. I think it's making them fade because that's coconut over black. And usually it's a lot more dark than that and a lot more opaque than that. So I actually had to stamp this twice. I'm doing this as a clock face in the middle of this background. My original intention was to put the nail foil behind it and I got super excited because I was playing and having fun and I forgot to do it. So I'm going to show you how to do nail foils on the other hand and a huge mistake that a lot of people make that I knew would happen. I did it on purpose so I could show it to you. So um, we're going to top coat again between layers and as you can see it looks you know pretty bright and opaque now. I'm going to pick up the number 12 or the numbers 1 and 2. They're spread a little bit far apart, so if you look closely, I kind of had it hidden with my fingers, sorry. I tapped the one down first, just very lightly, see? And then just barely picked it up and pressed the two down so it put it closer together so I could have them at night on there. Then I'm gonna grab the little point of this arrow here and we're gonna use that as a hand on a clock, right? Make sure you scrape up if you do that. If you scrape down, you will not be able to get the chevron out from underneath it. <laughs> I might have found that out the hard way too. So look, okay, you see it starting to come together where it's looking like a clock. Yes, the 12 is very big for that round thing. I don't care. I love this. I thought it came out so cute. I'm going to just grab the end of a straight line and use that as the hand of the clock. eventually we're gonna stamp it there we go <laughs> and then I thought it would be fun to grab some of these other designs to try to put them on there to make the clock hands look a little more elegant but I know I have short nails right now so I could not get everything on there that I wanted but it still spruces it up just a little bit gives it just a little bump a little nudge into something a little bit better Sometimes simple things are the good things. All right, this is the nail foil glue. Here's the first tip that I have for you, which again, I got excited and didn't think through while I was painting. I was very excited about this Manny. So of course I screwed it up. Um, you can see the nail foil glue starting to dry right there. This particular brand does recommend about four minutes to dry time. I did not need that much. I'm in the South. It's a little more humid here. Um, it's, you know, pretty warm compared to most parts of the country right now. So it, for me, it dried in about two and a half minutes or so. Um, and you just kind of watch. And as soon as it goes clear, you grab your nail foil and stick it down. And hopefully it doesn't stick into the liquid latex on your other hand so you can put it down correctly. Um, so this one did get some wrinkles in it. You do not want wrinkles in it. You want to try to lay it down as smoothly across your nails as possible and then you really need to work it in some people will use a silicone nail tool to push and kind of get up in all the corners and that stuff on the whole this worked for me but again the first mistake match the nail polish underneath to the nail foil that you're going to use so that you can't see those black edges around if something dried a little faster now that one did leave a couple little holes in it what's cool is if it's still sticky you can just take the nail foil tap over it and kind of fill in any of those holes and gaps look how holographic and pretty this is i really like this foil 
10 out of 10 would use it again. I would just do better with it. <laughs> just wait until you see. Look at this. It comes out so pretty. I thought it would be way too much, but for New Year's Eve, I don't think so. Like, look how pretty that is. It's gorgeous. I love it. So I did that across a couple nails and look at my pinky nail. Where's the hollow? You need to use a water-based top coat on top of nail foils. So the Maniology No Smudge Top Coat, that's water-based. Um, if you use it for nothing else, because I personally hate it for everything else, it's great to go on top of nail foils and that kind of stuff. So you see how they're completely dulled down. There's no hollow left, any of that. It's because I used a regular top coat. I just wasn't thinking and wasn't paying attention when I did it. And then I was like, well, crap, it's ruined, so whatever. Um, but remember, water-based top coat for nail foils to make sure that those stay in place and look really great. I am so into the clock gears. I love them. I'm so sad that that got ruined because can you picture that with all the hollow? It would have been so pretty. And then I love the clock face. I'm in love with this part of the design. I would have loved the other hand had I not screwed up the foil with the top coat from not paying attention. I mean, you know, once I did it on one nail, I was like, forget it. I'll just do it on both. It makes more sense. But let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any questions. And I appreciate you watching. Bye-bye.